Hello everyone, my name is Nucleoptero and welcome to Overwatch. This is the first video I'm going to do going over the patch notes and shit like that um, for the new events. Um, I hope you like this, if you do leave a like and whatever, but I'm going to start by opening the loot box and then I'm going to go through all the skins and then I'm going to read through all the patch notes um, just to let you know what's going on here. So first let me open this loot box. Exactly the same as last year's. Again, nothing again. Heck yeah, my guy. Oh, sick. That was alright, I guess. Okay, so now we're going to be going through the new skins. Um, I've got them up on my other screen here, so I know exactly which ones have new. So, we have one for Genji. A legendary skin. That is the Oihu one. Holy shit. That looks really good. That looks pretty cool. Oh! That looks insane. Uh, let me have a look if he's got any emotes or anything. Nope. Then we have one for Widowmaker. Which I, I want, but I'm not sure whether I want it as much as the Nova. Actually, yeah, I want that more than Nova. I can get Nova whenever I want, but this one's the event. Shit, I bet that looked good. That looked good in gold. That looks really good. Look at her. She has no new emotes or anything. The next one is Bara. The Quinglong. That looks insane. I like her eyes. Holy shit. I like a helmet as well. Got a little thing on the top of it. Oh, dragon looks cool. I like it. And she does not have anything else new. Uh, the next person is McCree. Uh... I watched Stylos do a video on this and, um, fuck is he? I watched Stylos do a video on this and he didn't mention this because it wasn't in the patch notes for some reason. But yeah, this looks really cool. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Holy shit, that looks mad. I like the way the barrel comes out at the end there, it's like kind of wired. I like that a lot. And he has a new highlight intro. Like nail out. Right. Uh, doesn't have anything else. Uh, the next one we have is Mercy, dead character. Lol. That is this one. That looks really cool. Like the tower. Like a peak. That looks cool. Like the feathers on it. Looks okay. Doesn't look that good. And she doesn't have anything new. And then, lastly, for the legendary skins, we have Zaya. Hers looks really good as well. Oh, yeah, I also got this in a crate. Uh, there's one. Oh, shit, that's animated. Yo, that looks mad. Oh, shit. I want the skin. And she doesn't have anything new. Okay, so all the skins are done. Yeah, there's no other new ones. So we're going to move on to the emotes because McCree's was the only highlight intro. Um, so Roadhog has one. Not Reinhardt. Roadhog. He has a. Which is secret friend? Okay. Um, next one is Doomfist. He has one.
Okay, sure. Uh, that is everything for the cosmetics. Um, I'm going to go over the patch notes right now. I'll put them up on the screen. Okay, so these are the patch notes for right now. Uh, they've just added uh, some new shit for the Year of the Dog. Um, then all the skins here. Um, they've added Catch the Flag back. Also, Hero Skin Selection. I'll uh, show you that now. Oh, it's got a new symbol as well. I'm not sure why they did that. I don't know why they've done that. But Okay, here we go. So, let's go on Zarya. See, I've got this skin. You click on this drop-down menu and you can change the skin while you're in-game. Which is really cool. I love that. Right, I'm going to back out of this, even though it's going to give me a penalty. Right, let's keep going through these then. So, Doomfist has had a fix. I'm not going to call it a nerf. I'm not going to call it a buff. It's kind of balanced out. So, for his hand cannon, um, his damage has been reduced from 11 to 6. So, you that's a nerf. But... The number of bullets in one shot, not the amount of ammo he has in his uh, hand cannon, has gone from 6 to 11, so the amount of shots is put out has been increased. So the spread pattern has been made more consistent. Um, I'm not sure, sure whether this means it's been tightened, or it just means the bullets go in the same place every time. I'm pretty sure it should be that, though. Um, I'm not going to read over the developer comments. But, uh, Death Blossom now fires at players behind barriers. That could be overpowered if that can go through barriers that is going to be really good for reaper because he's going to be able to shred people behind uh orissa barriers um winston barriers reinhardt shields you're not gonna to have to worry about any of that so that that'd be that's gonna make him meta i think he's gonna be good for breaking through um chokes so the ui interface updates matchmaking ui now displays the game mode players have queued for while waiting for players Okay, pretty simple. Competitive play leave a message is now display as a chat notification. Okay, so it's not that big thing in the middle of your screen that stays on there for forever. That's really good. Um, hero select screen now displays the game mode and map type. It's hardly noticeable, um, but it's fine. So Zenyata's Orb of Discord and Orb of Harmony will now display the target hero's name. I'm not sure whether that means the actual person's account name, or the same McCree. And they've had a lot of bug fixes. I'm not going to go through all of them. But yeah, that's about it for the patch notes. So yeah, I'm just going to quickly test out Doomfist. See what's changed. Um, see if he's any better or worse. Um, I've played him a little bit. But you should be able to notice the difference. Let's go over to Doomfist. As you can see, I am only level 11 with us. Because obviously I've just been on pc oh wow yeah you can definitely tell there's more shots fired there i feel yeah i just feel like that's a lot lot of a tighter spread i just feel like that's going to do a lot a lot more damage yeah it is a hundred percent tighter because before i know it was a lot wider than that holy shit man let's try this spot over here so Yeah, that, that's that, that's more of a buff than a nerf, I'd say. Yeah, that, holy shit, that spread is good. I reckon Doomfist is going to be pretty viable now for a good source of DPS. But we can't say for certain yet. We just have to let the pros figure it out. Um, but yeah, I reckon you're going to be seeing a lot more of Doomfist in your games. Which I like. Okay, so there's something about the hero select screen. Okay, yeah. Uh, right here. And it says right here as well. Which is minor change, but it helps, I suppose. But yeah, I'm going to be going here to capture the flag now. And I'm going to show you um, the new map. Oh, they've also got low gravity back. And they have the CTF Ayutthaya only. Uh, it shows you that as well. That's really cool have a quick game of this and then we'll end the video but yeah let's test out the new doom fist okay so another thing was that um if you use any abilities like uh this maybe or winston's jump it will drop the flag i'm not sure which abilities they are that do that we'll figure it out as we go along wow i like this map it's got a lot of flanks
I got fucking destroyed. Oh yeah, um, also when you pick up the flag, it's an instant pickup now. So, like if you take damage, then it doesn't stop it. Which is good, I fucking hated that before. But now we just need to go and capture a flag. I'm gonna try and go around the side somewhere. Holy shit, man. Yeah, I'm dead. 100%. <sighs> Holy shit. My ult is definitely not going to be able to stop that shit. Wait, have I not got it? Yeah, that is impossible. When there's a Symmetra there, that's fucking insane. It's, it's really hard to capture any flags because of that. Because of stopping the abilities. Look, I, I, they've made it impossible to do that. That's it, we're never gonna capture anything. Okay, I'm leaving. Um, thanks for watching the video.